Hello and welcome to Condoning Drones. I know there has been a lot of confusion on how to program your Tello using the Scratch Offline Editor 2. And I'd kind of like to walk everyone through this again, showing where to start and leading to a successful PC controlled Tello flight that we will see at the end of this tutorial. I know I've mentioned a few of these things already in a couple other videos. If you want more details, you might check those out. But very simply, I'm going to assume that you have downloaded the necessary files from the Rise Tele website. You have installed the Scratch 2 offline editor and I'm using Windows 10, but you should be able to figure out how to do these things with Apple as well. So the first thing you do is you go to your command prompt. And one thing that you'll notice is that I already have a command prompt that says no JS. And that was created after I installed JS, um, the no JS file the first time by double clicking on it. And doing what it said so um, we have to get into the right folder so I'm going to change directories to my downloads folder and once there I will change directories to my scratch folder and here is where you type in node tello dot js and if it's successful as it is, you'll see it right there running the extension. Okay, now we open Scratch 2. And it this is the uh, original play, um, page that opens. And you have to push down the Shift key when you select File. And then you'll have the option to Import Experimental HTT. Now, I need to go in the folder where this is located. Um, it's going to be wherever you saved yours. Mine is just in the Scratch um, folder right here. And it is Tello.S2E. And this is kind of just a review. We'll go over here to more blocks. And there you have your Tello control. You have the green light, which is necessary. And then you have all of your commands. Now. I was doing something a little differently using the weight um, controls and everything and, and I decided to try something different this time. So let's say we want to take off. That's one of our options. We'll go to events and I like to just use this one here when the green flag which is up here when it is clicked then your drone will take off. Now we'll go back to more blocks. Um, you're going to want to put all the commands uh, that will help you can control. So you'll want to be able to fly up. You'll want to be able to fly down. You'll want to be able to fly left, fly right, and fly forward. and fly back and you can even choose the counterclockwise and the clockwise options um, we're going to put flip I'm not going to mess too much with the speed um, so now what we want to do is go back to events and notice it says when space key is pressed. I'm going to drag that over here and I'm going to reserve that one for landing. But before I connect landing on there, let me just duplicate um, these. And the more you duplicate them, there should be more to choose from. Um, right now, then 
not connected. If I connect them all, maybe I can't connect them. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to keep duplicating them because we're going to need them. And we're going to need one for each of our commands that we've already put on screen here. So. All right, if we need to make more, we will. Okay, so I'm going to have the, when the space key or space bar is pressed, the drone will land. Now, these others we can change. Um, let me drag one of these over. And let's say we want to fly up. Well, you don't want to use the space key because it's already being used to land. So to fly up, I say let's use the up arrow. So when the up arrow, we're going to fly up with a distance. And I'm going to keep it kind of short. There's a uh, hundred centimeters. Um, we can do the same with fly down. We'll change it to the down arrow. And so it's going to have 100. Oh, that's not 100. Okay. So 100 centimeters. And we'll drag another one of these over. And when we fly left, we are going to press the left arrow. And when we are going to fly right, we are going to press the right arrow. All right, just make sure you have room. And we're going to do the same with all the others. Here we have um, fly forward. Um, I really need to change the distance on flying left. We're going to leave these all at 100. Um, fly right, 100 centimeters. And this one. We are going to fly forward when, and you can keep scrolling down here. Let's say we'll go forward when one is hit, and we will fly back. when zero is pressed. Okay, just a few more. And we need to we need to copy a couple more of these, so um and we can change them even though they say when one is key we'll change this to something else. Um okay let's make a couple more duplicates. There's one more and another duplicate. Alright so we have, I think we have enough. Uh, we'll drag this over here to rotate counterclockwise. Well, we don't want one. So let's say, um, let's say we want to go counterclockwise when Okay, I hate the trackpad on my laptop. That's why I keep messing up. Um, let's, for counterclockwise, let's do two. And okay, one moves forward. Um, and to do counterclockwise, we will do three. Uh, maybe I'll just type that in there. Maybe not. Okay. Let me try again. Um, I love it. Anyway, if I get this just right, which apparently I'm not doing, And 
finally flip duration okay when F is pressed it will flip with duration F um, I'm going to copy these duplicate these two put them down here and then say that when B is pressed then we'll change this to B which is for back all right so we have all the commands they're all separated and we are going to control them with the keys on our laptop except for when we click on the green flag to start it but now we should be able to control um, these commands by pressing the up arrow to go up, the down arrow to go down, the left arrow to go left, the right arrow to go right. Um, we'll press zero when we, want, when we want it to fly back. We'll press one when we want it to fly forward. Uh, when two is pressed, it will rotate counterclockwise at an angle 90. Um, when three, it will do counterclockwise with angle 90. And we'll try all these here in just a few moments. Uh, when we press F, it will flip forward. When we press B, it will flip backwards. And we can't, I don't know how to do that. I am totally honest. I've tried and it doesn't work that well. But if we do these by clicking the appropriate keys, we will control the Talos flight with the PC. So now that you've done all this, and I think now that you've done all this, you ought to save the file as something that you can open the next time with Scratch and, and eliminate a lot of this repetitiveness. So um, I'm just going to call it telecommands full and we are going to save it uh, wherever you want. I'm going to save mine in my scratch tutorial and save it there. So then the next time when you go to file and open you can choose that and open up what we just created. Okay so now we are going to power on the Tello and we are going to make sure that we connect the PC's Wi-Fi, which I've shown in other videos, to the Tello. And once the PC is connected to the Tello, then we will be able to test out our commands. So... Let me get that set up and we'll be right back. Okay, so the Tello is connected to the PC. We've opened Scratch up again. We are going to go to the green flag, click it, and it takes off. So now by just using the PC's keys, we can control it. If we want it to go down, we press the down arrow. If we want it to go back up, press the up, and it may have it go back down again. All right. If we want to go left, we press the left arrow. Press right, right arrow. Um, we can fly forward by pressing 1 and I know I didn't set that farther than 20 centimeters the same as if we want to press 0 and come back it, it, it did move it just not very far okay so if we want to uh, rotate counterclockwise we press 2 and we see that it turned if we wanted to go back counterclockwise, we press 3, and it's back to the original place. 
Uh, we want to flip forward, press F, flip backwards, hit B, and if you want to go left again, you can go left. If you want to go right, you can go right, and if you want to land it, we'll press the space bar, and down she goes. I hope you enjoyed this video, and even in awkward positions, it lands pretty, pretty good, as you just saw. So, um... I may have more videos, not necessarily on Tello, but drone related, and I hope you check them out. And I hope this helped some of you. I know that it took me a while to figure out the best way to, to do this. But now you got more control. You just have to control it with your PC keys. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, this is Dan for Condoning Drones.